very good morning to all of you respected teachers and dear participants i am pratima neki from department of mathematics zakir hussain delhi college university of delhi india my topic is mathematical modeling simulation and design of polymer nano composite material and insight into mechanical and viscoelastic behavior Uh, this talk is consist of precisely an overview of our work done on graphene and polystyrene nano composite entire uh, entire part is divided into seven parts introduction overview stress and strain analysis of graphene stress and strain analysis of graphene plus polystyrene simulation protocol results and discussion conclusion introduction the highlights of my talk are molecular dynamic simulation studies were carried out to get an insight into atomistic scale uni axial deformation mechanism of a large polymeric system consisting of a low density short chain amorphous polystyrene randomly filled with single at atomic layer graphene sheets stress strain data of pure polystyrene and graphene sheet were separately generated these data were then used to predict the deformation behavior of graphene filled polystyrene nano composite using mori tanaka theory and by calculating ashevel's tensor for a square shaped graphene sheet having an aspect ratio eta is equal to 1 short chain of polystyrene molecule lead to lower elastic modulus and high poisson ratio the value of elastic modulus of graphene filled polystyrene nano composite predicted using simulation data was found to be lower than the neat polystyrene a comparison of the elastic properties obtained using ashevel tensors has also been presented uh, before studying graphene and polystyrene nano composite simulations were performed on single atomic layer graphene sheet and stress strain behavior was predicted and was found to be closely matching with the theoretical value deformation of graphite sheet at different temperature were also predicted using simulation now we come to the introduction uh, molecular dynamic simulation have been performed using lamps with the adaptive intermolecular reactive empirical bond order potential to understand the atomistic level mechanical behavior and fracture properties of single atom layer graphene sheet simulation were performed under various temperature to study the mechanical behavior of graphene sheet arabo potential was selected for simulation it has been widely reported in the literature that it showed actual mechanical behavior of graphene the breaking of carbon carbon bonds and their reformation in graphene sheet are also accurately simulated using this potential overview methodology uni axial tensile test of graphene along the zigzag direction was performed on a 50 by 50 angstrom square size graphene sheet having 1000 atom with periodic boundary condition the atomic coordinates of graphene sheet was obtained using a scilab program even we have done at matlab also and then data was used to take an input read data file for lamps there was no specific reason to choose this size of graphene sheet and the simulation was performed using isothermal isobaric ensemble at the specific temperature 300 kelvin 600 900 1200 and 1500 for 250 picoseconds with a time step of 0.5 femtosecond the system was equilibrated for 30 <coughs> sorry <coughs> the system was equilibrated for 30 picoseconds before performing uni axial tensile test in a controlled deformation along the zigzag direction of the structure by applying the strain rate of 0.001 picosecond per second methodology in methodology 
now we have used the formula for a strain epsilon is equal to delta lx by lx and stress sigma is equal to 1 by v del pe by del theta p is the potential energy sigma is for stress epsilon as usual is a strain and lx is the sheet length in x direction the strain is applied to the system at every time step of 0.5 Uh, femtosecond and the resulting potential of the system is recorded at a constant temperature now we have made our table after performing all the uh, calculations on lamps making program and doing all the calculation we have this table at temperature we have collected uh, data at temperature 300 600 900 1200 1500 and we have taken the young's modulus here for tensor analysis and then after uh, making all the parts we have get these figures which we have drawn at uh, ms excel the figure is radial distribution function of graphene sheet during deformation the radial distribution function was recorded after every time step of 5 picosecond as position of equation as position of equ equilibrium a sharp peak was obtained at 1.42 as you can see from here at 1.42 angstrom which is cc cc means carbon carbon bond distance uh, then stress and uh, strain stress and strain curves at different temperature like 300 600 and different temperature we have taken here graph drawn after calculating through lamp software and using excel here you can see there is a slightly difference and as slightly difference in that when we are taking different temperatures and as graph as stress is increases according to temperature both are continuously increasing but showing different for different temperature uh and then uh we have uh, from those uh, data we have drawn this graph stress strain curves drawing uh, drawn using simulation data at different temperature here we have shown as you, you can see stress and strain is for all data these are but once one thing is one thing is common here all or increases and after one point goes down after one point after like uh, as you can see from here as this is 0.2 after all are decreases completely fracture is strain at different temperature one is this is for reference this is from our data which we have studied similarly this graph is this diagram is for fracture strain at different temperatures now the fracture strain i am explain these uh, these figures uh, these diagrams here also the fracture strain as well as stress at 1500 kelvin temperature was lowered compared to the value at 300k that you can see from the graph <clears throat> the figure 5 also show a comparison of the data obtained in the present study with that obtained theoretically for a pristine graphene sheet using kinetic theory of fracture although the trend appears to be similar there is a large difference in the values of fracture strain and stress obtained theoretically using the formula given at next these formula we have applied first we have taken these two formula applies first two formula in the second to study it here <clears throat> tau is equal to tau not upon ns exponential function u not minus gamma sigma divided by kbt here all these uh, variables have their usual meaning uh, only i have taken one different as uh, poisson ratio that is uh, in general we take new i have taken it as m so in this uh, lifetime is that lifetime is the time taken for a stress solid to break down sigma is tensile stress t is absolute temperature tau not is equal to 0.001 picosecond in the 
is the vibration period of atom in solid. N s is equal to one point five into number of atom. That is a constant. Is equal to number of sites available for state transition of atoms. V naught is interatomic bond dissociation energy, and gamma is equal to Q into V. V is the activation volume, and Q is equal to one is the coefficient of local over stress. Kb is as usual Boltzmann constant, and tau t is here. Tau t is time to failure. Above equation have been used. Above last two equation have been used to obtain analytical expression for fracture strain epsilon r and fracture stress sigma r for graphene. In equation three and four. We have taken A is equal to 1.11 into 10 raised to the 11, and B is equal to 9.69. These are regression coefficient obtained from time varying stress stress strain curve. Here, epsilon dash is the strain rate. Using these constant, we have plotted graph figure four and five. As you can see, these figure four and five. Now. Using the Mohr's potential function and constants such as d is equal to this alpha two is equal to one twenty degree as the angle of carbon bonds r as the bond length zero point one four two nm and nanometer t is equal uh, t is equal to zero point three four nanometer as the thickness of the graphene sheet the constant e g is equal to one five five seven point three two gpa and d g is Minus four five nine four point nine three GPA. It's all given. M is the Poisson ratio. That is zero point two. Were obtained here. Authors from where we have taken the reference claim that using these values, they were able to obtain a critical stress and critical strain from graphene, which were close to the reported value for graphene. Now we have we have used as for. Um, As uh, stress is non-linear, so we have used this equation in form of matrix. In form of matrix, which is sigma is equal to L G epsilon plus N G epsilon square. L G is equal to E G upon one minus Poisson ratio square. And these matrix we are using it for linear and non-linear L G and N G. In order to check the accuracy, we have substituted value of E and D obtained as obtained as regression coefficient of stress and strain curves of Figure two into LG linear stiffness into LG linear stiffness tensor. This and NG is the non-linear stiffness tensor formula, and calculated the effective moduli and its component L one one and N one one for different temperature. The values for Poisson ratio m were obtained using adjacent figure, in which the best fit value were plotted against strain at different temperature. You can see by the diagram. This we got uh, by the software Ovito uh, by putting the at different temperature. We have taken the data at temperature three hundred, six hundred, nine hundred, twelve hundred, and fifteen hundred Kelvin, and These are this is for 300. This is for 600 on graphene sheet, and you can see the structure. How as we are increasing the temperature, its shapes are changing, and you can see the hole in this polystyrene. Now we come to the polystyrene and graphene nanocomposite. Polystyrene is a long chain vinyl pro polymer pro formed by the Polymer polymerization of styrene monomer. Various nan nano composites are developed using this polymer as the base matrix and nano filler as reinforcement for numerous 
commercial application hence a fundamental understanding of the visco elastic properties of polystyrene based nano composite assume significance initially i have discussed mechanical properties of dewey now we are discussing visco elastic properties the interaction between a single chain and the nano filler at atomic level can provide an insight into rheological properties of these nano composite molecular dynamic simulation is a powerful tool to study such visco elastic mechanism figure 7 as you can see next in the figure 7 use a single chain of polystyrene consisting of three styrene monomers the polymerization of styrene monomers results in polystyrene which has a molecular formula this is a carbon hydrogen hydrocarbon chain this polymer is amorphous because the phenyl group are randomly arranged now we made this diagram through ovito software what we have done actually amorphous polystyrene was generated that consists of 400 single chain randomly arranged in a rectangular box the open access pack mall software was used to pack these 400 chain in a rectangular box of dimension this dimension this the monomer model and polymer chain were developed using open access avogadro software um the initial configuration of monomers were aligned and their geometry was optimized using gaussian gaussian force field and the protein database file of atomic coordinates were then used to create input files for packmol software the adjacent figure shows the graphene filled polystyrene graphene filled polystyrene system created through packmol and visualized through vega zz open access software simulation protocol potential adaptive intermolecular reactive bond order potential is used to describe the bonded and non bonded atomic interaction of polystyrene chain and graphene non nano filler the arabo potential is best suited to simulate hydrocarbon system as such as graphene because it accurately ev evaluates both covalent and non bonded interaction between atoms arabo potential is an extension of the reactive empirical bond order potential and consists of three sub potential as given in the equation so you can see these are the e is the rebo potential eu is the lenard jones potential and e tors is the energy from torsional interaction between atoms now a periodic bonding condition has been adopted to simulate this large system in order to integrate the newton's equation of motion a time step of 0.5 femtosecond was used together with the arabo potential all the molecular dynamic simulation have been performed using the open access large atomic molecular massive parallel simulator that is lams the vmt and vega zz software have been utilized to visualize the polymer structure and configuration now i'm discussing the diagram you can see this is temperature this is time we have taken at different temperature when the temperature is 100 this is constant with time but when <clears throat> we have taken temperature 300 500 you can see this zigzag motion and after 20 second you can see these are also becoming constant the s created atomic configuration of the two system were not in its equilibrium configuration due to the existence of atom overlap and associated local high potential energy the potential energy of atom were relaxed to their local minimum values at a specified temperature of interest the system was run for 30 picoseconds at the temperature and pressure of interest for the number of molecules pressure and temperature ensemble to reach further equilibrium and which provide the initial point for all simulation here you can see the time time graph of time with respect to time versus viscosity at we have we have taken this data at 100 300 and 500 take a temperature so you can see as it increases with time very exponential and after that it becomes constant <clears throat> the these equations were applied to allow the system to undergo the planar qet flow under the nvt condition where the msd mean square displacement diffusion coefficient and shear velocity viscosity 
were calculated using the following equations. You can see from this slide. And here I have drawn the graph. Uh, viscosity was the time for 100, temp 100 Kelvin temperature. The strain rate is coming to be 0 0.001. And similarly for other temperature I have taken, this is one 0. 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00001 at 300 Kelvin. I have missed here. This is at 300 Kelvin. Uh, results and discussion for carrying out simulation of graphene plus polystyrene system. Firstly, the atomic configuration was allowed to relax for 30 picosecond, and then deformation was performed using a strain rate and time step of this per second, picosecond, and 0 0.5 femtosecond, respectively. A strain rate of 0 0.0001 per, uh, per picosecond and time step of 0 0.5 femtosecond. It is seen from the figure 11, which we have already explained to you. So these all figure demonstrate that polystyrene system reads its equilibrium configuration through the relaxation process between 15 to 30 picosecond, the viscosity of composites Calculated using simulation data has been used to characterize the rheological properties. Here you can see mean square distance versus time. So as time is increases, we have taken data as the street temperature. As time increases, the mean square distance between the atoms are increases. In lamp simulation, the irate style changes a dimension of the box at a constant engineering strain rate. The unit of a specified strain rate are one by time. The box length L has a function of time will change as L of T is equal to L naught. This is L naught one plus irate X dt. dt is the elapsed time. For engineering strain rate, the change is based on the original box length, wherein the box length is expanded by a factor which is different than that induced by a true strain rate. That is straight. In the present case, E-rate was used to change the box length. From here, you can see relaxation of polystyrene, polystyrene graphene system versus energy time graph. As polystyrene graph and pore polystyrene. For pore polystyrene, we are getting this graph. And for polystyrene, this graph is given. With respect to potential energy versus the, uh, now these results are given as time is about to happen. So I am, you can see these graph. This is for temperature, time, temperature versus time, pressure versus time, and for PS plus graphene nanocomposite. And this is for pure polystyrene. And this graph is density time graph for pure polystyrene and polystyrene graph is compared polystyrene graphene and plus and pure polystyrene density as time increases density also increases in case of both there are difference between these but behavior is same so we come to the conclusion uni axial tensile test performed on a graphene sheet using controlled md simulation showed that temperature significantly affect the mechanical properties of graphene sheet, such as poison ratio, failure strain, and moduli. These properties are higher at room temperature, 300 Kelvin, Kelvin compared to that obtained at te higher temperature, uh, 1500 Kelvin. These temperature are higher, these, sorry, these properties, which property? This uh, poison ratio, failure strain, and moduli are higher at room temperature and compared to the 1500 Kelvin. Now, non-equilibrium MD simulation were performed to investigate the rheological properties of polystyrene with addition to graphene sheet. The simulation results showed that the viscosity of pure PS polystyrene increased by adding graphene nanoparticles. So this is all from my side. Thank you so much.